Hello everybody and welcome to my 22nd Microsoft Access tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the delete query. Uh, now the delete query just allows you to remove data given specific criteria uh, and it, I use it sparingly um, because I don't really like getting rid of data. Uh, I'd rather just kind of transfer it somewhere else. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to use it. Uh, so in this example, I'm going to show you, you deleting the entries after we've added them into the sales. So I'm just going to remove the sales I've got in there already. Uh, put it back to the normal 10. And then my new sales has these. So I want to have my query that I've already got that adds these into the sales. Uh, and then I want another query that will delete all the ones in the new sales. So let's go to create and query design. Uh, and uh, I want to put in my new sales table, the table that I'm going to be deleting information from. I'm then going to select this delete query here. And then we'll go in here uh, and we've got some options here. So we put in the fields that we want to delete. Well, I actually just want to delete all the records. So I'm going to click and drag down the star and that's going to delete all of the records in my table. Uh, and I can add in criteria if I want, or I can put in another one and then I can change this to aware and it will let me put in some criteria and say that I want to delete this field. So where sales date is greater than or equal to a first of the first 2015 or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to put in criteria because I just wanted to, it to delete all of them. So I'm going to cut that out uh, and I'm just going to save this down as delete no. Press OK and press close. So now I've got my new two new queries. So I'll run this one. Press yes. Pen ten rows. Yes, please. And then I'll run this one. That's going to delete things. So press yes and it's going to delete ten rows. If I go to my new sales, it's now empty. And if I go to my sales, it's got all of the entries in it. Notice how where I deleted fields in this one, the auto numbers automatically jumped to the 21 number and that's because it kind of keeps things in the background when you save them so if you're deleting information and you want it to go completely you need to go to your uh, database tools and then compact and repair database and what that's going to do is it's going to remove all the old records of any data uh, that it's kept in the background uh, and it's quite important that you do that quite often in some of your bigger databases because if you're deleting lots of information, they can get quite big quite quickly because you're kind of storing the same information multiple times that you don't need to. Uh, and that's it for deleting. Uh, that, and that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a completely new table. Uh, but for now, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.